This is lesson 2.7, Proving Segment Relationships. Your objectives are to write proofs involving segment addition and to write proofs involving segment congruence. Two basic postulates for working with segments and links are the ruler postulate, which establishes number lines, and the segment addition postulate, which describes what it means for one point to be between two other points. The ruler postulate simply says the points on any line or line segment can be put into one-to-one -one correspondence with real numbers. It's like measuring things with a ruler. You look at where the item starts, and you look at where it ends, and then you can subtract those and get the distance of it, and those correspond to real numbers. The segment addition postulate says that if A, B, and C are collinear, then point B is between A and C if and only if AB plus BC equals AC. Which is really stating what we've said several times already. In a segment, one part plus the other part equals the whole thing. The parts add up to the whole thing. That's the segment addition postulate. Complete each proof. So let's do some fill-in-the-blank proofs to get you more used to the topic. Given, BC equals DE, prove, measure of segment AB plus the measure of segment DE equals the measure of segment AC. So, as always, start with your given statement, and the reason is given. Now what we're trying to prove has two pieces that add up to something else. That's my goal. Step two has a reason segment addition postulate. Well, there's only one segment split into parts. And those parts are AB plus BC equaling AC. That was the only choice. That part plus that part equals the whole thing. Well. Notice what I have now. I'm very close to what I'm trying to prove. I have the AB plus something equals AC. And the proof statement says AB plus something equals AC. But I have a BC and they have a DE. But look, we're given that BC equals DE. So, I can substitute BC with DE. And now I have what I'm trying to prove. Since I substituted equal values there, that's substitution. Start with what you're given. Use the segment addition postulate. The parts add up to equal the whole thing. And then work your way through to the end. Use what you see in the picture. Use what you're given. Use the equal pieces and make it all come to the final statement, AB plus DE equals AC. Number two, given Q is between P and R, R is between Q and S. The measure of segment PR equals the measure of segment QS. Prove that the measure of segment PQ equals the measure of segment RS. Well, notice we always start with what we're given. They give the first given piece, which is Q is between P and R, and the reason is given. And when one point is between two other points, you can add up the parts of the segment to get the whole segment. That's why they say PQ plus QR equals PR. What's the reason? The segment addition postulate. because the parts add up to equal the whole thing. Then they give the next given statement, R is between Q and S. And since they gave us that, the reason for that is also given. And then they give us the reason segment addition postulate. 
and the segment addition postulate using the previous statement, since R is between Q and S, then that means that QR plus RS equals QS. Why would we up and say that the parts of the segment add up to the whole thing? Well, we need to think forward here. I'm trying to prove that PQ equals RS. And at the beginning, I don't have segment PQ or segment RS. But by doing the segment addition postulate, that puts a PQ and a RS into play. And we'll see how those work out in a little bit. Then they say that PR equals QS, and that was given to us. I still don't have PQ and RS in the same equation, and I need them to be. Now notice, PR equals QS, and PR is in statement 2. QS is in statement 4. Since those equal each other, then PQ plus QR has to equal QR plus RS. When things equal each other, you can substitute them in. Since PR equals PQ plus QR and QS equals QR plus RS. Now, thinking about where I'm headed, I need to say PQ equals RS. And look at my equation now. I have a PQ and an equals and an RS. I just have a QR on each side. Well, look what they did. They subtract QR from each side on the next statement. So that will be the subtraction property. And when you subtract QR from each side, you can simplify each side a little bit and get PQ equals RS. And that's substitution. So we've said what we wanted to say. In looking at this proof again, let's make sure we make sense out of what happened. As always, start with what you're given. When they give you points between other points, you can use the segment addition postulate. And that will give you an idea of where to go. Also, we're trying to say that segment PQ's measure is equal to segment RS's measure. Those aren't in the picture at the very beginning. But segment PQ is a part of segment PR, which I have. And segment RS is a part of segment QS, which I have. And since the segment addition postulate told us what PR equals and what QS equals, and that put segment PQ and segment RS into play, it set the stage for the rest of the proof. Segment congruence. Remember that segment measures are reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. And this works the same with segment congruence. The reflexive property says that one segment is congruent to itself. The symmetric property, which normally flips things around the equal sign, now flips things around the congruence symbol. If segment AB is congruent to segment CD, then segment CD is congruent to segment AB. The first is congruent to the second, and the second is congruent to the first. And the transitive property said, if the first is congruent to the second, and the second is congruent to the third, then the first is congruent to the third. All three of these use segment congruence the same way that equality occurs. And all three of these can be used in proofs.